First Peter, chapter two, verse seven. So the honor is for you who believe, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Curiosity is the desire to come to a full knowledge and understanding of a thing. It is a natural reaction. Imagine a child without curiosity. A child cannot sit and listen to a lecture, but let him see something bright, and instantly he is curious and wants to get hold of it. Whether it is the moon or just a ball. The reaction is based not so much on the desire to have it for himself, as for the desire to know more about it. As men and women, we are curious about intellectual and philosophic, or scientific things. And when a particular quality is presented, our curiosity is aroused. I want to know more about this matter. Can anyone explain it to me satisfactorily? It is the natural reaction of the way we are able, and to ignore it, it is fanatical. The instinct of curiosity can be used in the wrong way, as in Genesis chapter three verse six. So when the women saw that the tree was good for food, and that It was delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one's wise. She took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. But that does not mean that the reaction itself is wrong. It depends upon the motive. The point that is frequently missed in dealing with the question of a child is that he asks them from a disinterested motive. A teacher can always appeal to the disinterested curiosity of a child. A child's questions are at the very heart of things, questions that scarcely occur to a philosopher. In natural life, we grow by means of curiosity, and spiritually, we can grow by the same power. The Spirit of God uses the natural reaction of curiosity to enable us to know more about the One who is precious. The instinct is not denied, but lifted on to a different platform. And turn towards knowing Jesus Christ. As saints, our curiosity must not be as abroad. We become insatiably curious about Jesus Christ. He is the one who rivets our attention. Think of the avidity with which you devour anything that has to do with the expounding the Lord Jesus Christ. Unto you, therefore, which believe that he is precious.